Today we are going to explain a comedy crime fiction movie called The Perfect Score. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film opens with a guy named Kyle taking his first SAT test. Kyle has the constant fear of ending up being an average boy as he believes he cannot score high. Kyle sets his eyes on the class of topper girl named Anna and assumes that she has her future fixed due to her perfect grades. However, the result day arrives and Kyle finds out that he has scored 1,000 whereas he needed at least 1,400 scores to apply for his dream university of architecture. He talks to the dean of his school and asks if there is a way he could get into his dream university. The dean undermines him and states that with this score he can surely be accommodated in the community college. Disheartened, Kyle goes to his friend Maddie, who hasn't opened his results yet. Maddie wishes for his scores to be higher so that he can sleep with his crush was into intelligent dudes only. Kyle shows up to him in the locker room and reveals that he has lied to his family about the SAT score, which leads to a flashback of him blowing candles on a giant cake that says happy 1430 scores. Later, the two are seen on a rooftop where Kyle insists that Maddie should open the results. Upon opening the letter, Maddie curses and the scene switches to the both friends loading couriers in an empty room in the ETS building. Kyle expresses that people determine one's potential by their SAT score and forget to appreciate one's natural talents. Maddie is also unhappy since his insufficient scores took away his chance of making out with Sandy, his crush. Both approaches the security manager after work and ask him if there is any chance that could be promoted to a better position. Sadly, they are once again told that their low scores will never get them into a good job. That's when Kyle first sees Francesca and points out how is he letting her go. The manager tells that the perfect score doesn't matter in her scenario because her father owns the place. The scene then shifts back to the boys sitting on the rooftop where Maddie suggests applying for a retest. Kyle is hopeless and thinks that it is a bad idea. Maddie calls his crush's hostel room and becomes heartbroken when another guy answers his crush's phone. He blames the scoring system for everything and throws the phone away. He gets a breakdown and decides to breach the offices and change their numbers on the answer sheets. The fear of not making something out of him gets to Maddie, so he plans to cheat the system. Kyle doesn't prefer thievery over misery and says that a lot of people struggle with bad grades, but that doesn't mean they get to cheat the system. Maddie convinces him by saying when the system has ever acknowledged their true potential. It has always favored kids who are good at memorizing course books whereas people like them are always flicked away. Kyle comes home and sees his elder brother sitting on a washing machine and wasting his time playing guitar. He's disappointed in his brother and hopes to God that he doesn't become as useless as him. On his way to his room, he finds his mother grading papers of the kids from grade 1. That's when he imagines himself as a young kid who was being put to standardized testing, where he wrote help me on the paper sheet. He also realizes that if he gives up on his score, he would never be able to stand up for himself and will become desperate. Dreading, he goes to see Maddie and asks if he has a plan to get inside the building to steal the answer sheets. Maddie reveals that they're going to convince the daughter of the ETS owner, who studies in their school, to help them. At school, they meet Francesca and ask for her assistance but she ignores them. The scene then shifts to their school's basketball court, where they watch the school's popular kid named Desmond taking the lead in their school's basketball team. Upon hearing the plan, Francesca is delighted. She says that she supports them for what they're doing because she thinks that SAT is unfair to women and purposefully grades papers according to a student's class and status. Despite supporting, she refuses to help them but Kyle lays down some logical facts that gets Francesca's attention. She agrees on helping them out. Later at Desmond's house, his parents try to convince him to reapply for his essay because he has scored really low which could bring in a bad reputation. On the other hand, Kyle tells Maddie in the bathroom that he couldn't keep a secret and told their heist plan to Anna. Maddie becomes mad at him and starts doubting that Kyle wants to get down with Anna. Kyle clears out that he thinks Anna is troubled and is going through something so he just asked her to join in, but she thinks it's wrong and she is denied coming on board. Maddie becomes mad and kicks the bathroom stall which makes someone scream. Kyle and Maddie's eyes pop out to find out that there has been someone listening to their entire evil plan. Upon opening the stall they find their class's dullest kid named Roy. High on weed, Roy threatens the boys to include him in their plan and help him correct his score or else he'll bust them out. On the other hand, Anna goes home to her parents who introduced her to their friend and start oversharing her achievements which she doesn't like. She goes to her room where her mother expresses her love for retaking the exam. 
Anna later finds her Dream University's number from the directory and finds out that they select students with at least 1,300 scores, whereas hers was 500 only. The next day, Kyle and his squad gather outside the ETS building and map out their plan on how to get their hands on the answer sheets. Francesca takes the boys into the building and dresses them as mailmen. She tells them to enter the top floor and do the remaining job on their own. Back at school, Desmond approaches Anna to get his photographs and asks if she can help him study and score higher for the test, but she says no immediately and says that she's lost and doesn't know how to score for herself, let alone helping someone else. On the other hand, Roy infiltrates a woman's office and flirts with her, while Francesca's father randomly calls Kyle who was passing by, and hands him some documents. He asks Kyle to make multiple copies of the file and have it sent to different departments and send one back to him. Kyle becomes happy when he finds out the files are actually the answer sheet. He immediately finds Maddie and takes him to a room to tell him how easily he got his hands on the score sheet. There, he mistakes the document shredder for a photocopying machine and shreds the answer sheets. The plan gets screwed and they decide to give up. Later that night, Anna shows up at the place where Kyle was currently working part-time and says that she wants to join them and is also willing to pay the money for it. Kyle asks her the reason why she scored so badly despite being the topper. Anna says she froze and doesn't tell much but she reveals that she has told Desmond about the heist and asks to include him too. Later on, the boys go to watch Desmond's match on their school's basketball court. When Maddie hears it from Kyle, he gets really mad and reminds him how famous Desmond is, and if anything goes wrong, they can get kicked out of their school. That night, Kyle meets up with Francesca, who hands him the blueprints of the ETS building where they decide to hold a group meeting at Kyle's house. Francesca goes home and sends an invitation to Kyle's home to everyone on the plan. When Roy gets this, he calls Desmond on his personal phone and freaks his mother out. But as Roy says that he is going to tutor Desmond for the exam, his mother gets relieved and agrees on sending Desmond to pick Roy up for a group study. Desmond shows up in his uncle's car and picks up Roy from his place. Meanwhile, Kyle, Maddie, and Francesca shows up at Kyle's house because his parents are out. When they enter the home, they find out Kyle's elder brother has thrown a vine-tasting party. His careless brother tells them to carry on their activities in the corner of the house. At first, Francesca picks up a fight with Anna when she finds out that she's on the plan too. This leads to a fight with Desmond who decides to leave but Kyle steps in and reminds everyone of their dreams and reignites their passion. He then takes out the blueprints and starts mapping out their scheme where everyone fantasizes about their crazy selves. The next day, Francesca, Kyle, and Matt enter the building and the rest stay outside for a lookout. Francesca gets the security guard to shut the alarms for some luggage she has to take in like she usually does. The trio then makes its way into the building from the rooftop when everyone leaves. They wear spooky masks and jump down from a dorm. They then make their way to the room where the test answers were put. They dodge the security camera on their way. Upon reaching the room, they find that the files have been replaced. This gives Kyle the idea of sneaking into Francesca's father's office because he had told him of having an extra file on the computer. When they open the computer, they are held down by a password. This reminds Kyle that Roy is good with technology, so he finds a way to get him sneaked into the building. Maddie calls his friend who works at a mall and asks him to deliver a bouquet of roses and a bottle of champagne to their address. Kyle and everyone else wait on the rooftop. When the guy finally shows up and delivers the stuff to the security guard, Francesca gives a signal to Roy and asks him to run towards the back door. Francesca then takes everyone to her father's office where Roy puts some naughty words on the computer and it gets unlocked. Kyle finds the file but the irony is that they have to actually solve the answers. Francesca mocks them. Everyone decides to form pairs and work through the questions. They all get to bond with one another. Francesca and Matt become lovers. Desmond finds out that Roy's mother is dead due to which he is in bad condition despite being extraordinarily smart. The group finally gets all the answers right and gets multiple copies made. On their way out, the security guy shows up patrolling the entire place. Francesca gets left behind so she passes over her entry card and tells everyone to leave. While she waits to get caught, everyone else escapes through the dorm. Matt decides to take one for Francesca and decides to stay. He pretends to be stealing a computer and gets caught on purpose. The guard calls the cops and has Matt arrested. Francesca is impressed by Matt so she goes home and steals her father's money to bail Matt out. The next morning, everyone is seen being completely different after their heist. Whereas Kyle bonds with his elder brother, Desmond takes his mother to Roy's house to fix him. Desmond's mother is harsh on Roy and forces him to take a shower and have breakfast. 
Francesca bails Matt out of jail and takes him to school. The next day, Anna's mother tries to scold her for staying outside the entire night, but Anna speaks for herself and decides to leave her mother. Everyone unites in the hall and decides to not cheat in the retake since they were able to solve all the questions on their own last night. Francesca reveals that she already scored high last year and she didn't need help in the first place. She was only trying to make friends. Everyone decides to appear in the retake and ace on their own. Roy doesn't let their hard work go to waste and secretly passes the cheating cards to random guys in the bathroom stalls. By the end of the film, Desmond excels at his SAT and joins his father's university to play basketball. Francesca writes her first novel about their heist. Matt joins a drama company and tries to get his best. Kyle pursues his career but also manages to meet Anna, who had shifted to Europe to run her life on her own. Roy becomes a video game developer with Desmond's mother's dedication and becomes rich. Kyle and Anna meets up on a train midway through their journey. Subscribe to see more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.